Uh, my room lighting makes that shot look terrible. I'm watching this one. Uh, he streamed it 10 hours ago for me. $2,000 stimulus checks update. Christmas Eve by Clearview Tax. You don't, know, dude. I don't use your your name. I just call you by your channel. Clearview fella, I keep getting these horrible fucking pauses that just do you no justice at all. In this one, he pointed out that they rejected the two thousand dollar standalone stimulus checks. And then he goes on to ask people uh, commenting when he was live about uh, are they supporting Trump and his decision to pocket veto and kill the <laughs> the bureaucratic wish list, which included things like sending money to Afghanistan and, and fucking uh, Egypt for women's rights activists and I mean come on e you Christians hey here's something I'm going to use to fuck with your psychology over 2000 years ago in my past life you claimed that I said something about a parable of uh, of a guy with a dust moat in one eye and and another fellow with a tree branch sticking out of his own. And the gist of it was get yourself right before you try to get someone else right. Improvement starts with the self. It starts at home. Fast forward to today and these fuckers are elected by you to take care of you. To take care of your best interest and they're not doing it. They wanted to count the number of a, a non-endangered species, an amberjack fish in the fucking Gulf of Mexico or something. Come on. They want to investigate the, the fucking effects of trees falling down. We know the effects. Tree falls down. It lays in the forest. Tree falls on power line. It disrupts the flow of electrical energy going to keep all your electricals turned on tree falls down in the road, you have to wait for it to be cleared or drive around it or find an alternate route. We know these things. It's simple fucking logic. And that thing for furniture? No, no. That, that's, that's not for fucking furniture. They're trying to build their own private bunkers to escape. Yeah, yeah, you can say that's a conspiracy theory all you want. But eventually you'll see it's the truth. They've got what they want. They don't care about you. If they were going to give something to you, the people, people in my situation, people in a little bit better situation than me, people in far worse situation than me, they would have passed that $2,000 standalone stimulus check. They would have passed it. They're trying to put all the pressure on Trump and make him look like the bad guy. And, uh, Clearview Tax? Yeah, I think you get that. But please, do take time to make sure that everyone else watching you gets that. They refused to help when it was a standalone stimulus check with nothing else attached to it. It's evident and painfully clear to me. And it will soon be to the rest of you that they do not care. Elseways, they would have passed that standalone stimulus check and you'd have it in a couple of days. They're just playing bullshit politics, trying to make Trump look like the bad guy. <clears throat> That's all I really wanted to point out. I don't know what else to go on about. Other than Clearview Tax, please make sure everyone watching you understands that. From those comments you're reading, it seems like a lot of people don't get it.
and didn't spend enough time explaining it, uh, emphasizing it. And it is winter right now, so people aren't going to be thinking as clearly as they should. Because everyone, including me, every species in existence is instinctively at the genetic level programmed to rest during winter. It's called hibernation. Your cognitive functionality decreases. You stay sleepy and tired a lot more. It's because your body's telling you, hey, dude, it's time to fucking sleep. It's a survival thing. Yeah, I know. Logically, you've got loads of food stored up or, or fast food restaurants and stuff to go to and buy food. But your body, it hasn't evolved past that instinct yet. And it's a good thing, too. Because you really should slow down during winter. <clears throat> Who would have thought that genetics would be relevant? Well, it's because it affects your cognitive processing. It affects how you perceive the information presented to you. That does look like a decent enough picture for him to be presenting something. But anyway, yeah, that's the information. Take your time processing it. You're going to need to. the end of it all, a lot of you are starting to realize that the people, these, they're not even worthy of being called people. These corrupt, tyrannical, terrorist scum that are in offices, not just in America, but all across the planet, they don't care about you. They just as soon laugh in your face. None of this video has been positive. Just be aware of that. At the very minimum, just be aware of the truth. Whether you accept it or not, that's your prerogative. That's your choice to make. Just be aware that it exists. You'll be amazed at the difference it makes. Yep. It comes to mind I'm quoting Dr. Flux from Star Trek Enterprise. Good for me. It's about the only positive thing I can throw into this video. Star Trek reference. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Till next time, toodle pips. Give it a few seconds here for the end cards. Oh, yeah. Also... Links in the description to throw some fallacy credits my way so I can do dumb things in games like I want to. I actually want to finish that uh, Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered playthrough completely drunk. It'll make it more fun for me and possibly more fun for everyone else. <laughs>